gentleman of mine in Mirzapur, he came one day to ask uh, whether he could be received in the Catholic Church. And I said, well, why do you want to come? He gave me various reasons, but the most important reason is I had a companion, a work companion, who was a Christian, and I was impressed by his life. This man was a Brahmin. I told him, we are going to have a lot of trouble if you want to join the Catholic Church from your family, from your society. But he told me, I'm ready for that. Okay, I tested him for a full year. He joined uh, the Conference of St. Paul, St. Vincent de Paul. He became an active member, and after one year, I baptized him. Then he joined as a teacher at St. Xavier's High School, Loyola Hall. The fact is that he had been impressed by the example of a Christian who was not a Catholic, he was a Protestant, and yet he came to the Catholic Church. The second example is of a merchant of semi precious stones in Kambat, who came to tell to ask me, uh, I didn't know from where he came, he says, I'm traveling, I'm a merchant, and I would like to um, hear Mass. Okay, I gave him uh, the timing of the Mass, and he came regularly every day. Uh, he was very generous, whatever he earned, he wanted to give everything to the poor. I said, you are an old man, after some time you will need money. But what impressed me is, is this, he was a Hindu, a Tamilian, and he went to Burma, a merchant, and he met a Catholic merchant also from Tamil Nadu, who was a Catholic. He says, I was so well impressed by his example that I decided to accept the Catholic faith. And the latest is, uh, I don't know, I don't think this is a secret, a Catholic, a Gujarati girl from high society in Bombay who wants to join the family of Sierra in Baroda. Uh, and she said, when asked why she wanted to become a Catholic, she says, I had a friend who was a Catholic and I was impressed by her life. So my parents uh, didn't allow me to join, but then my mother died of cancer. I served her with much love for a long time. And finally, before I became a Catholic, she wanted to be baptized and she received baptism before dying. Then she asked uh, her father for permission to join. Her father delayed and he was not, he was reluctant to give her permission. But she insisted so much that at the end uh, allowed her to have an experiment of cloistered life. And uh, she, she didn't want to join Bombay, she wanted to join Baroda to be a little far away from the family. And uh, finally, uh, she spent three months as a test here in Baroda. Then she went back to Bombay and still she wanted to come back and she told her father that she wanted to become a Carmelite. Uh, again, her father was reluctant because he loved her very much and uh, but finally he gave up. I mean, he, he gave her permission to join only uh, he asked her to stay with him till Dibali was over. Now this is Dibali. So in November she is due to come and, and join uh, uh, the cloister Tabernacle in Baroda. So here are three examples of how the, the faith was communicated through the practice of Christian life. Any other questions?